Hey guys, I'm here to talk about something that's been uproaring through the brony community, which is, you guessed it, Derpy Hooves. Who's Derpy Hooves, you ask? It's pretty- she's one of the side characters, like Cherry Berry and stuff, and My Little Pony. She is the most beloved side character because of her derping eyes, which was actually an animation error. But that's really what we love about her, her eyes. So, in one of the episodes, Rainbow Dash, one of the main six, called her Derpy, which made us all happy and giggles because we gave her that name. Bronies gave her the name, but because parents freaked out, Hasbro censored pretty much everything about Derpy and that show. But why? But think about the word derp. The term derp does not mean mentally disabled. It means clumsy. And derpy is pretty clumsy. But why do people think she's like like retarded? Why is it offensive? It's not offensive. In fact, you know what's even more offensive? Cuddling a mentally disabled person, saying, Oh, you poor baby. Oh, oh, I I'll get you this for you. You don't have to do anything. Oh, you're so poor and defenseless. You're pretty much saying they're mentally retarded, but in a nicer, gooier way. It's, it's just more offensive to do that than it is to make fun of them. And... I don't get it. I mean, take a look at Spongebob here, and Goofy from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Goofy has, like, a mentally sounding disabled voice, right? Parents aren't complaining about that. No, they're fine with that. And Spongebob. Come on, they don't even have any IQ points. Come on, they get themselves stung by jellyfish, and they don't care. And they get, like, hit in the face with cement blocks, and they laugh about it. Come on. They don't have any IQ points. And parents don't complain about that. They think it's funny. And yet, all of a sudden, Derpy comes up. They're like, oh, that's offensive. Let's get rid of it. Why? She's not offensive. I mean, the reason why they're doing that, not blaming Spongebob and Goofy, is because they grew up with those characters. They don't know Derby, so they just automatically think, oh, that character's stupid, so we should just get rid of it. No, I mean, come on, parents, how would you feel if people just got rid of, I mean, the people of today got rid of Goofy just because he was stupid? How would you guys feel about that? Not pretty good, right? You would try to do something about it, right? Yeah, think about that. How about getting rid of that, okay? Think about that. Because it's just... You would think it's totally unfair. Okay. Now think about that, and think about how we're feeling about Derpy. Derpy is pretty much our mascot. Pretty much, Derpy is just ours. We didn't create the character's design. We didn't create the animation error. We just gave her a backstory and her name. And that's what we love about her. She's pretty much just ours. But like, I just don't get it. Why, why do people think she's offensive? Why don't you just leave her alone? Uh, I mean, come on. Look at that face. It's so cute. And changing her name back to Ditsy Do? Ditsy. What does Ditsy even mean? I, I don't know. I'll have to look that up in the dictionary. What does Ditsy mean? I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean anything good. I mean, come on. Calling her Ditsy is just more offensive than calling her Derby. I'm just saying. And the reason why I love Derpy and many other people love Derpy is not just because she's adorable. It's because she's like a snowflake. Let's just put it that. She's a snowflake. Not everybody's the same. In the real world, everybody is a snowflake. Nobody is exactly alike. Why can't that be the situation in My Little Pony? I thought this was about love and tolerance, so why can't people accept her? Because people in the real world are mentally disabled, and we accept them. 
but in, I guess in My Little Pony, that doesn't matter. It, I guess friendship isn't about accepting everybody's differences. I'm just guessing that's not what it is then. Okay. Makes total sense. <sighs> it just doesn't make sense then. Alright. So, are you just portraying that everybody has to be a stuck-up snob, or a tomboy, or a shy person, or a smart person, or a silly person? Or country person? Does, is that what you're trying to say? That everybody is d different because of those reasons? No, everybody's like that. But Derpy, she's special. She's a snowflake. Everybody loves her. I love her. In Hasbro, you, you can pretty much do what you want with the, the character, but no matter what, people are still going to love Derpy. If you get rid of Derpy... We're still going to be mad about it. We're still going to love Derby. We're still going to animate Derby. We're still going to draw pictures of Derby. No matter what you do, there's no way getting around it. You can't get around the bronies. There's, there's just no way. Either way, if you get rid of the character of Keeper, we're still going to animate her. We're still going to love her. There's no way around it. Just saying. She's not offensive. So, why are people calling her names, calling her stupid, retarded? Why are people getting rid of her? She's a beloved character, and I, I don't think she should go away. I think she should just stay. Like Spongebob and Goofy, why can't she be in those categories? Where she's a famous character and everybody knows her, and why can't she just stay on TV forever? Just think about that. She's, She's not offensive at all. But if you still think about it, that she's offensive, then that's your problem. Just saying.